Now guys, I know that this is a completely and totally different type of video than you usually see your boy doing. I understand that completely. But when I saw what I saw on Instagram today, in my Discord, I had to say something about it. And if you like these kind of videos, because I think I'm going to like doing this power scaling video, drop me a like and put a comment in the uh, comment section below of what you would like me to do next as far as scaling, who v who, and I'll do a scaling video. But I was going through Instagram, and I saw this. Jack Shaw, can you put that post on the screen for me? Someone genuinely thinks that Sage of Six Path Nine Tails Cloak Naruto can be base God Essence Goku. Where do I even start with this? What do I do here? What do I? What do I do? I don't. I don't. Know. The question here to ask, I guess, would be, is Naruto stronger than Goku? And to be honest, in this argument, I'm going to be giving Naruto the benefit of the doubt a lot. I'm actually going to be giving him his most nerfed and busted forms. I'm going to be helping him out as much as I can, while also being completely realistic at the same time. Because, <sighs> honestly... It doesn't even matter if I do God Essence based Goku or if I do regular Z Saga based Goku because the result is exactly the same. So what I'm going to do to completely expedite this process is I'm going to throw in a wild card. I'm going to throw Nappa into this equation. Now we all know Nappa. Nappa is the Saiyan that comes to Earth with Vegeta. Um, he's one of the two Saiyans, Nappa and Vegeta, that actually had an extremely high power level. Nappa is responsible for the deaths of most of the Z fighters uh, concurrently, including Chiaotzu, he was responsible for Tien's death, Piccolo's, and many others. So, he was capable of killing all the Z fighters. Now, I'm putting Nappa in the equation because I'm going to do specific comparison to Naruto, and the Naruto that I'm actually going to compare him to is, once again, this is where I'm giving Naruto the benefit of the doubt, I'm going to compare him to the movie Naruto. In the last movie, Naruto fought a uh, villain called Tenari. And Tanari, in the end of the movie, threw an attack at him that split the moon in half. So for some reason, uh, people thought that this meant that Naruto was moon level. I don't know how Naruto would be moon level um, by tanking slash dodging a moon level attack. But you know what? The Naruto Tards say it's true. So let's say that Naruto is indeed moon level. Let's say that, okay? That's the unrealistic standard we're going to set Naruto to. The realistic one is that I think that somewhere in, see anyone in the comments, see if you can find this. I'm not saying that this is true, but I think I remember hearing at a certain point that Kishimoto said that Naruto and Sasuke together as one were capable of destroying a continent in a few days, which by their standards is monstrous. Anyone that can destroy a continent in the Naruto verse is amazing. That's the, the realistic standard we're going to set them to. Going back to Nappa, Nappa was capable of generally destroying cities effortlessly, casually, with two fingers. Not breaking a sweat, not doing anything. Keep in mind that Naruto and Sasuke have to, one, destroy the continent together to destroy it, and two, would have to use Suzano, would probably have to use the Kuruma Cloak. That's a considerable amount of effort, that's chakra wasted. Plus it's taking them days, so we know that they're not resting, they're, that's, an, that's effort. Nappa can do that exact same thing with two fingers in the air. Sure, we're going to leave that there. We're not even going to say anything about it. We're not even going to do anything about it. We're just going to let the Naruto Tards keep on thinking, baby. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Nappa can do the same thing with two fingers in the air. No transformation. Not even including the Great Ape transformation, but we'll get to that later. Nappa can do that exact same thing with just two fingers. He can look at a city, smirk for a bit with his thick ass, and it just blows up. And, you know, and that's on the realistic standard. If we go back to our Naruto movie standard, keep in mind that movie Naruto uh, was capable of a, he's moon level. He was able to tank a moon level attack. Um, so if we put him on that regard, we can just honestly pull Piccolo from the Saiyan Saga, who was literally capable of destroying the moon with minimal effort. Charged up a special beam cannon for maybe two seconds. Smack that bitch. Moon was destroyed. 
with Gizmo. Naruto was able to destroy the moon as well, and Piccolo was able to destroy the moon. So what does that mean? That means that at best, if you gave Naruto that unrealistic bullshit standard, he would still only be Saiyan Saga Piccolo level, which is the Piccolo pre-Nappa. That's the Piccolo before Nappa showed up. With that being said, Nappa can honestly, in this being concrete proof that since the strongest Naruto characters, other than Kayaga and uh, Jubi Madara and Jubito, those three excluded, the strongest Naruto characters have only ever been shown to be at max moon level, and that's an ass pull. At max, I'm giving them moon level. I'm giving Naruto and Sasuke the benefit of the doubt in this one, moon level. Nappa can probably shit on most of the Naruto universe. People are gonna get mad, uh, people are gonna get upset, but that's how it is. Logic-wise, scaling-wise, and from what we've seen, they're two different animes in that regard, you can't compare them. Naruto at max level, even if I gave Naruto at max level, right? Let's say, War Arc Naruto in Prime, Six Paths Cloak, Sage Mode Chakra Unlimited, Naruto at best could probably destroy a planet, and considering that Naruto can't survive in space, that's a wrap. He can destroy a planet with his full power. Nappa can destroy a planet by looking at it the wrong way. Um, the, you guys are probably wondering what I think of the other Z fighters like Yamcha, Tien, Chaozu. While I don't believe um, that they can solo everyone in the verse, they can beat the Shinobi allied forces, that big army of ninja. They could probably beat them pretty easily working together, kind of like how they defeated Frieza's army. Frieza's army was stronger than most people in the Naruto verse, by the way. Just letting people know that, you know, just in case you guys didn't know. Yamcha could probably smack up half the characters, which is a meme, but Yamcha could probably smack up half the Naruto characters in that universe. Um, and that's just what it is. Uh, scaling wise, you can't even do that. Coming back to Goku, by the way, the reason I said it wouldn't matter in the beginning if I gave him base or god essence is because even base form Goku from Z was capable of casually destroying planets. Post cell games training, pre cell games training, he could literally launch a Kamehameha at a planet if he wasn't restricted by breathing in outer space and completely and totally fuck a planet. So, um, yeah. Not even including post god essence. So, um, Nappa versus the Naruto verse. Nappa smacks. I am sorry to make this random video on this, guys, but I, I had to, man. I, I, I had to. It just, I couldn't sit there and allow that to happen. Okay, that that I just couldn't let that happen. Okay. Um, anyhow, guys. Let me know what you guys thought of this video in the comment section below. Drop me a like. I liked doing this. This was fun. I'm just like using logic and piecing things together and stopping the tards in the community who would say something as stupid as Sage Path Naruto is higher in power than Base Goku. Like, seriously, man? Just doing that is fun to just shut that shit down. It's, it's honestly for sure pretty fun to do so if you guys want another one like this uh like the video comment below what you would like next uh this has been gizmo making as always guys i'll see you in the other world have a wonderful time